Uh, it's a character that likes to do late aerials, where he has a really high short hop, and when he lands with his aerials, they're super Three, safe. So that means two, he's going to be empty, one, or at least empty, go. jumping into the air. Uh, and if he's doing that and he's not careful, he can absolutely get just checked with a forward air. A useful thing in neutral. The other component is... Are they actually getting into the match here? Okay, yeah, this is not a button check. This is the match itself. And matchup unfamiliarity. And Rob is a character that has lack of lag in places you wouldn't expect. Um, you know, obviously at this point everyone knows about the neutral air, but it can be really hard to figure out where the openings are when he's going to be throwing out those sorts of moves. Oh, and just like that, Mono has been put at the ledge. It felt like that one grab that uh, Zumba got a while ago led to all of this damage. Looks for an air dodge or some kind of panic option, and Mono doesn't give it to him. That means that he is still alive here. 113% might not be the greatest position, but finally with a little stage positioning, maybe he can do some big damage. Oh, a missed tech and beautiful punish. Doesn't want to mess around with a lock or anything. He knows the up smash will connect, and he gets the kill right there. Now, this is not an awful position for Mono to be in. 97, 96% on Rob. Given that he's a heavy character, this can be <laughs> really tricky. And it's the big thing is getting a comeback on a Rob. Once you are forced to approach, he should be dead. Yeah, no jump. Oh, but a beautiful recovery right there. Actually avoiding the down air from Zomba. This could, that could have been Mono's big break. If he can take a stock right here, right now, which Marth, given the, just the tipper mechanic, he can take stocks earlier than, say, Lucina would. So if he can find it, yeah, 115% on your second stock is not great, but, well, it'll be a whole lot better than being down three stocks to one, which just looks like it's actually the case. And you can see Zomba plays this very tricky Rob, where he's throwing out a lot of moves, realizes the sort of, oh, like, APM that Rob can actually have, and tries to exploit that, especially a more patient, neutral-heavy style, um, like Mono's, is, seems to be struggling with that, not really recognizing when he can actually ooh, get a punish in. Right there, though, a side B like that is way, way too much of an overextension. But Mono is unable to get the kill. All right, neutral air finally getting it, but and this is one of those things where you definitely see a lot more Lucina than Mark. And one of the big contributors to that is that Mark can actually really struggle to kill. Yes, he can kill earlier. He can certainly kill earlier, but in terms of consistently killing, you saw right there he landed an up air at 170, and Rob was fine. He got the stock soon thereafter, but imagine, you know, I mean, pretty much this entire game, he's not really been able to. Oh. <laughs> All right, that was cute. Honestly, when I see a player do that, it makes me think they're confident. They're confident in their movement. He knows that Mono is not going to try and intercept him. And that means that, uh, ooh. If, if you know that your opponent's playing a little bit scared, maybe a little more reserved, if you want to put a positive word uh, to it, that should be it, though, yeah. All right, now... I think the big thing is that Mono maybe needs to, especially, I, it's so hard when you're down by that much to not play scared. But uh, by the end there, it just, there was too much. Sorry, there, I, it feels like Zomba had too much free reign. He was able to do whatever he wanted. He was able to go high in neutral there. He was able to just like kind of approach him, dash back and forth in front of him. And there are certainly ways that Marth can uh, deny that sort of thing. So maybe Mono can adjust and do that, and I think the stage might help. Uh, just if he stays underneath those platforms, especially if he gets a little bit of a lead, oh, it's going to be a lot harder for uh, Zomba to get in, really. All right, this is one thing we're seeing a lot of those quick moves out from Zomba because uh, just Mono isn't just throwing out moves. He's trying to position himself really carefully, which is kind of what the character demands. I, okay, he should be able to recover. Great air dodge with the Blast Zone. Zomba didn't quite capitalize on it, and that means that he's still alive. Maybe not in the most comfortable position, considering that he's at 119, and Rob is not really close to 10% at this point. 
Well, now the nails are connecting, and a, that top coming through. Ooh, nice up the other shield top. All right, this stage seems to be working out much better for Mono. You can see that because he's underneath those platforms, the overall landing patterns of Zomba, they become a lot easier to deal with. Uh, although he was hit. Okay, now he's actually intercepting the neutral airs. That's something that he really sh uh, needs to be doing. He's denying that space that he was just giving for free in that game one. Oh, fortunately, not the tipper hitbox of that neutral air, meaning that there's didn't even get close to killing Rob, even at 200%. And once again, th this is the sort of thing where you can play around Marth by staying really inside of his zone. All right, finally, an up air from Mono at 200 plus percent is going to seal the deal. But he, and I mean, I think Battlefield overall is a good stage in the counter pick. We're definitely seeing that. But he has to also, he has to basically make the benefits outweigh the fact that he's really it's making it even harder for him to finish off some of the stocks. Oh, there's no jump. Oh, such good... It's the sort of thing that conditioning with that, with Rob, he can down tilt in your face so much to the point where you're forced to just kind of hold shield and... That down to such a little lag that he can transition that into oh, grab pretty easily. Oh, he's dead. That was such fantastic spacing from Zomba. You saw that he just stayed outside of neutral air's range. Out spacing Marth and neutral air is incredibly difficult to do. Oh, nice read on the spot dodge. That was a little bit of an option coverage if he had been holding shield. Seal Breaker also would have been quite good. And also, you know, spot dodge was punishable as well. Feels like once Mono loses his stock, then he starts to figure out what he needs to do. But if he wants to be winning games, he has to figure out what to do before he loses that, like, you know, the last stock. Uh, Tipper back air. Almost doing it for Mono, but as it stands, oh, and getting hit by that one neutral air, look how bad this is for him. 67% on the ledge, and Zomba with an amazing up tilt just reads that. Is that going to be it? He does. Wow. Chasing him out there. That up air is so long lasting because of the multi hits, and he's just able to clean up the set 2 0. Oh, good stuff to Zomba. Moving on in winner's bracket. Definitely showcasing why he is now a featured New York PR player.